Before we begin the video, let me just say that the holidays are among us. Here's a Panasonic RN109A micro set recorder. You see in the original box. It's got two speeds, though I'm pretty sure all of these things do. I don't even know why they bother making it seem like a big thing. But you know, it does have a one year limited warranty and it has a voice activated system. Which, you know, I'll go over that later. Um, Panasonic says so thing. Has a barcode on it, so it can't be that old. Uh, their side says one set, uh, Masusita or Masusta, however you ever pronounce it, Electric Industrial Corporation Limited, Osaka, Japan, made in Japan too. That's nice. Uh, on this side, uh, here's all the features tape speed selector, standard stuff, auto stop, tape counter, pause control, LED record slash battery indicator. On this side, it's just the same thing as this side. And on the bottom is just uh, nothing. So let's open this up and take a look at it. All right, so this flap here says open, so we'll open it from there. And it's got this nice padding on the inside. Don't see that on too much, too much cardboard boxes, really. And inside, not a lot. You just have, you know, the unit itself, which we'll take a look at later, and the instruction manual. Nothing else, box is empty. This is a fairly basic unit, though it's not the most basic. And there's more definitely more basic ones out there that Panasonic sold at the time. And the uh, instruction manual is just one of these fold out things too. It's not a book, but again, basic stuff. Alright, taking a look at the manual, as you can see, it's got a picture, it's got the model number. Yeah, read the instructions and please for operating the set. On the back it does have the specifications. Also printed in Japan. And, uh, it's just it's pretty basic stuff. I mean, you know, don't do a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't do with electronic devices. Put batteries in it. Tape speed. Um, you know, there's actually some information that, um, it's pretty nice to know. For example, you have the optional accessories you could have purchased. That's nice. Um, record battery indicator. Many of the stuff is self-explanatory and is... The same across many, many micro cassette recorders alike. You know. One interesting thing I do like though is how they actually show you pictures of the accessories. So, two pack and four pack cassettes, the adapter, and car adapter too. Yeah, because you really need a car adapter when, when the batteries get rough. You get your car adapter. All right, let's get to the unit itself. All right, here's the unit itself. I got this for 20 bucks on eBay. It's a pretty good deal, because I think it was. Not only did I get you know this fully functioning unit, I also got four used cassettes. Though one of these doesn't work, which is a shame because it is a 90 minute cassette, and all the other ones I have are 60 minutes. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyways, yeah, voice activated system. Record battery indicator light. Got the microphone up here. Volume slash voice activated level control to you know adjust the sensitivity. Got a tape counter up top here. I know a lot of these have them on the front, but this one has it up top. Here is the switch to turn on the voice activated system, as well as to turn on the pause. And over here is a microphone input and a monitor output. Now, like, mon like many um, micro cassette recorders at the time, it uses 2.5mm jacks instead of 3.5mm jacks, as is more common with other devices. But you can easily get one of these 2.5mm to 3.5mm adapters, plug it in, and just use whatever 2.5mm device you want. 3.5mm. And uh, at the time, they also did sell special 2.5mm devices, like microphones and headsets, and um, yeah, but... On the side here, you got your tape transfer controls, you got stop and eject, play, record, fast forward and cue, rewind and review. And a small thing, I don't know if all, every micro microset recorder has this, but I know that there are some that do, including this one. But when you open the door, there's a little piece of metal that presses against the record tab 
tap switch that detects whether you took the record protect notch out of the uh, cassette. And when you do that, it allows you to press record so you can get to the heads and clean them. I don't know if all Microsoft recorders have this thing where you can uh, do that, but I know mine does and some others too because obviously when you close it up, it doesn't allow you to press record because it thinks that the cassette that you inserted does not have the uh, record tab in place. So yeah. Speaker out here. On the side here, you got the tape speed indicator, which is the standard 15 16 per inch per second or um, 15 30 second inch per second standard tape speed. I don't know why. Because all of these units that I find, they always boast about the tape speed. I don't know why. why it's a big deal, but okay. You got the um, DC power input, and on the back here you got this pretty nice metal label, metal feeling label, with all the information on it. And down here is the battery compartment with the serial number. It's got a 3 ohm speaker in there, made in Japan. So yeah, it's nice. Let's get some batteries and a cassette and uh, show this thing in action. To power this unit, I got some Panasonic batteries that were actually made in Japan. <laughs> Wow, everything's made in Japan. Put this in. And the unit is on. And as you can see, batteries are good. So, let's get a cassette. Uh, I'd use these, but they are used and they have recordings on them. So, I got some more, some of these Sonys. Now, unfortunately, these are not made in Japan. They're made in Mexico, but they were new old stock and got 10 of them. So, put this in. Play some recordings. All right, so you're telling me that you found a bag of Doritos on the sidewalk and you decided the best thing to do was to pick it up, open it up, and eat the contents you found inside. Well, yeah, they look like regular Doritos to us. I mean, they orange, they triangle, they chip. So, like, <laughs> they're not free food. I mean, food is getting expensive these days. You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. Trust me. For you, the next time I'm on grocery shop, I'm the one who buys the groceries. You don't even know if they're real Doritos. They could have been some fakes. They could have something could have been done to those that would endanger the health of you. to the U.S. so that all the bad people in Canada that go to the U.S. and see what hell's really like. And so they're not bad anymore. And that's why Canada's such a nice place. Hi, I'm testing out a recording using an external microphone. In this case, it's the Panasonic RP-VK18. It's a 600 ohm dynamic microphone. And right now, I'm recording at 15 16th inches per second. So I'm going to switch down to 15 30 seconds inches per second. And let's hear that sound. All right, this is the slower speed of 15 30 seconds of an inch per second. Uh, sound quality will degrade, but it gives you a longer recording time on a tape, twice as long as said on the cassette. So I can get two hours out of the tape instead of one because of the 60 minute cassette. Alright, I want to demonstrate how the voice activated system works. 
So basically, I have it. I don't have a set here right now, but I'm gonna show you that. Put in record, and you turn the switch on. All right, I'm gonna talk, and as you can see, the record indicator came on and started moving. I have the sensitivity set pretty low, so they talk pretty loud into this thing. But if I turn the sensitivity up, it will start recording at lower sensitivities. So that's how that would work when you're recording and get pause works on recording as well as when you're playing and you just turn everything off. Yeah. Alright, so that was my video on this um, Microsoft recorder. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you didn't, then why did you even watch it? Oh well, uh, see you next time.